Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I'm really excited for today's video in the weirdest way possible, and I don't know if I'm the only one that cares about this thing, but the new Real Techniques sponge, this is their microfiber one. I talked about this in a video a while back. I kind of mentioned it, like, oh, I picked it up. Should I do a video? I was just hemming and hawing on camera, and a bunch of you guys actually requested that I use this and see kind of what the tea is. Is it good? Is it not? And I'm really excited to give it a go on camera with you guys, and I'm not going to lie to you. I had a totally different video plan today. It was going to be colorful and cr and I was like, you know what we need? <laughs> Do you know what we really need right now? We need a break from everything. We need a break from foundations and testing out new ones. We need a break from eyeshadows and we need a break from just everything, honey. And we need to dive into some cool little new tool to see if it's going to change our lives. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I picked this up while I was at Ulta. So if you are wondering, that is where you can get it. And I'm going to read some details about it off of the Ulta website. It retails for $5.99. It is called their Miracle Powder Sponge. Now, of course, this is a compliment to their Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is the smaller normal size sponge. But I have lately been using this guy. This is their Miracle, what is this thing? Miracle Face and Body Sponge. I have a new one right here just to show you guys. And these are really good sponges. I don't care if you get the big one like I'm using today, which just does your foundation really, really fast. If you want to use the normal one, that's fine too. But they are so, so good. And for the drugstore price tag, you just can't go wrong. Um, so again, I was really excited to see like if they already have this really successful line, what are they going to bring to the game that's a little bit different, but still super helpful. I don't know. I was intrigued. So down in the details here, it says that this sponge features a proprietary velvety material for maximum pickup and evenly blended powder. It seamlessly sets powder foundation for a matte base. The rounded tip is for blending, flat edge for baking and like pressing it into the skin. Pointed tip is for coverage and you can bounce and blend, use wet or dry. Um, and this does actually already have five out of five stars with six reviews. Six people just giving her rave love, honey. So I'm not mad at that. Now, when I first saw this one, it reminded me a lot of this little guy, which is dirty. Don't, don't mind her. But this is the Juno and Co Spot. And when I first tested this out on my channel, it was like a year or two years ago I did like a full face. Is it worth it? Is it not? And this sponge is so so good and it's also very affordable I don't know if I think you can only get it off their website There might be a couple other retailers But what I like about this that's actually a little different than the Juno and Co Is that it doesn't feel like a lot softer It has a lot more give and a lot more squish to it than this one This is very very dense And I just wanted to give you guys a little shot of it up close Like look at how coated we are talking in little micro fuzzy goodness that is so insane. Like, I honestly didn't expect it to be that well coated, but it's just like, it's perfect. Now, here was my only issue with this when I started to look into it and try to learn about it. I feel like on the Ulta website, there is literally no information about it. Um, but then I, when I went on YouTube, I actually looked up to see if the brand themselves, like, I don't want to look up other reviews. I want to be able to get my own opinion of it. But anytime, like, if I have a question on something, I always look to see if the brand publishes something. And the creator, I'm assuming, of Real Techniques actually did. She had a really nice kind of in-depth video showing how she used it. And she showed this being used as well wet or dry, which is interesting. That is not indicated on the packaging. All it says is that this is great to seamlessly set powder foundation for a matte base. That's all it says. Um, but if you watch her video, which I can actually link for you up here, um, just so you guys can kind of see it in action on her skin as well, it's really interesting because she uses it, again, wet or dry, and she also uses it um, to set a wet base, like a regular foundation, or she uses it just with a powder foundation. And I thought that was really, really interesting just to kind of see that nice nice juxtaposition between the two. Um, now for me, I don't typically wear a ton of just powder foundation. I did do a review and all that of the Makeup Forever Compact. This is the really popular one that's out right now. Um, but this is the only one that I currently have. And this is in the shade R210. And y'all, it is so painfully light on me. Like if I were to put this all over my face, I'd look like an actual ghost. So, oh, that was, that was not smart. I just moisturized. <laughs> that's there for life. But I did think it would be interesting to just even try and play around like with a little patch on my face to see how this would work. Again, not necessarily like, oh, I'm going to apply a whole face with this because, again, it's too light for right now. Um, but I just wanted to give it a shot and see what the coverage looks like and if it really does help build that with a powder foundation. So I'm going to take my little Real Technique sponge here. I'm just going to dive in. Everything is dry. So dry sponge, dry powder. My face is moisturized. I don't have any primer on or nothing like that. And I really just want to see how well this works. Oh, wow. Okay. 
that's not bad at all. I feel like it's doing a really nice job at pressing the product into my skin, which is quite surprising. I think with this, I actually kind of imagined it just like picking up product and like gooping powder all over my face. But I feel like it's actually giving me really nice coverage, which is nice, but it's also pressing it in at the same time. Wow. You guys see what I'm saying when I said how light this was? Woohoo, girl. And I also feel like just while we're on the topic, holding this and pressing it in is a lot more comfortable, at least for me, than going in with this flat little pad and like trying to hold it and manipulate it and then dropping it. Hello. Well, I'll never find that again. Uh, but moral of the story, I just feel like this is overall... <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> that, that was real life, folks. But moral of my story, wow, let's just, let's just keep going like that didn't happen. I feel like this sponge is just a lot nicer to hold, and it does do a great job at giving coverage. Now, I am going to go ahead real quick and remove what I just put on my skin. This was just more so to see if it would work like this. Um, I don't wear a lot of powder foundation, but I just kind of want to test it for everyone. If you wear powder foundation, can you use it? If you use liquid, will it help build coverage? You know, that kind of thing. So let me go ahead and remove this. Am I the only one that kind of loves videos? videos like this where you just get to like test and play around. I really, I don't know what it is, but I just love getting to play with new products. Like, will it work for you? Will it work for you? You get a sponge and you get a sponge. Like, I just, I don't know. I love it. But guys, that's super impressive because I was just kind of testing. Um, a lot of times with a product like this, they'll say like, oh, the product suspends on the surface, meaning it would be like right on top of or like right in those little microfibers. But I find that most of the time it'll actually sink down into the actual body of the sponge. And I was kind of just playing around to see if that was true. And it literally wiped off, which means it was suspended on the microfibers. Like, that's really impressive. It didn't press down into the sponge. That's okay. All right. Now, the only thing so far that I'm seeing a difference on, I was just kind of taking a second and looking around. And what I think is interesting is that if you use the Juno and Co sponge, which, they're, by the way, nothing said that these are the same. I'm just kind of equating them to be similar because they're both fuzzy little sponges. But this one, it says that you can wet it and you can use it dry or you can use it wet and you can use it with liquid foundation. And this one from Real Techniques does not spec out that you can use it anywhere with a liquid. Um, it says that you can use it wet or dry, but not to use it with a liquid. Like, it doesn't say you can't. It just doesn't say go ahead and do it or it'll help you build coverage. So, so far, that's, like, a main difference that I'm seeing. It seems to me that they want this to really be a powder sponge. And that's just something I really wanted to kind of drive home because I was, like, looking for them to say, yeah, go ahead and use this with liquid. And you don't. Like, this is very clearly what they have marketed for powder. If you want to set a liquid with it, that's fine. But just be mindful that this is marketed as a powder sponge. So, if you use it with a liquid and it don't work... Girl, that's why. So I think where I'm going to go from here, let's go ahead and prime the skin. I'm going to use some Tatcha Silk Canvas here. And because I'm going to go in and add a fair amount of powder and work on mattifying my skin, I do want to make sure I'm prepped with a little extra hydration these days. So I'm going to grab my Farsali Unicorn Essence. And now for foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is one that I just recently did a full review on. I will link up here. All right, so I just took one pump of each, F1 and F7. It got that all over the face. And I think we are ready to go. I want to move on to concealer. For that, I'm actually going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. This is an L100 Fair. I'm still in the process of testing this little fella out, but I really like the color of it. And by the way, if I didn't say this yet, I did use this little guy to do all of my um, base work so far. This is that Miracle Face and Body I was talking about. Also, fun fact, I learned in the video that I watched by the owner of Real Techniques, she said that this sponge, the one that we're talking about today, the fuzzy one, it has been in the process of being made for two and a half years, she said. I was like, holy crap, y'all have been developing this for a minute, honey. Like, don't get me wrong, I know it takes a while to develop stuff, but like, wow, two and a half years. That just seems crazy to me. Also, fun fact, they did say cream products. I, why didn't I buy two of these? Oh my good lord, Paige, this would have been so much easier. But they did say you could use this for cream products as well. Um, should I try like a little cream bronzer? I mean, I don't really need it today, but like, hello, let's grab the Huda Tan Tour in Fair. And I'll just grab like a little freckle of it here. I'm not going to grab a ton because this product is already like super ultra rich in pigment. And so I know that with a sponge like this that's like designed to maintain coverage, girl, it's going to be even more rich. So let's just go in and apply a little bit of this, which I thought it was really interesting as a side note. She said cream products and then she applied like a cream highlight, but she never said liquid foundation. Like, I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Like maybe a full on liquid foundation would be too 
like viscous like maybe it would go down into the microfiber and mess with the sponge maybe it was just an overstep and she meant to say it i don't know i personally think that that's like the main difference between this one and the juno and co the juno and co is so dense that you don't have to worry about that like i don't think it absorbs into the fibers and i think in this one it's not as um dense and it's not as tight like that so i think it would be a little bit of a problem if you used a liquid i don't know what it would do to the sponge i'm not going to test it because i like it the way it is girl this is doing great so i'm not going to mess around with any other cream products i want to go ahead and set the face and I'm gonna grab my ABH powder here this is in vanilla and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my other sponge here and I'm gonna repat out my under eyes because y'all know they get creasy real fast they are quite creastastic I'm gonna go ahead here with the clean point on this sponge repat out those creases and I'm gonna dive into the powder boom wow that picks up a holy bejesus that really does pick up some powder okay and we're going to press that in on both sides dang that is oh, wow okay there's a lot of times when I use like a regular sponge I'll have to dip back in and like grab a little bit more powder because it doesn't pick up a ton and that is actually like an issue that I have with a lot of um, sponges and brushes when I set my under eye and that literally picked up like the perfect amount and it pressed it into my under eye like it didn't make it thick and it didn't mix with the product and get really goopy because whatever you put on this sponge it really just sits on the surface like that's really really nice I did not believe that that would happen at first. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my T-zone as well real quick like here. What I think keeps like surprising me more and more with this sponge, and I know I keep repeating it, but when it works, it like presses the product into the skin and it doesn't just leave it sitting on the surface. But seriously, when I was on the oily side, like maybe two years ago, I was so oily. I could literally coat my face in a vat of powder and it made no difference. Like by the end of the day, I was just oily, oily, oily. And I would have done anything for a sponge like this that presses it into the skin and doesn't create any like weirdness sitting on top like it gives you this beautiful pressed in almost velvet finish and then over the planes of my face which as I mentioned earlier can get a little bit on the drier side I'm actually gonna grab this flat side here and I'm going to tap off whatever will tap off. wow like it grabs some product honey wow and I'm going to lightly just kind of press it all over I distributed the product on the sponge but I still want to press it in wow does that look beautiful I'm, I'm like I'm actually shocked like I know I shouldn't be but I'm shocked at how good that looks. Also, guys, asking for a friend, when the hell was I going to blend that out? <laughs> like, wow, Paige. I just, like, looked down, and I'm like, there is a giant blob of contour slash Hershey's chocolate looking situation on my jawline. Girl. All right, guys, so I just wanted to bring you in super quick and show you, like, I don't know how well the surface and how smooth this is is going to look on camera, but it is insane. Like, I want you guys to know it's not just because I'm on camera. It really is, like... It's so smooth. I think at this angle you can really see it. It's bizarre to me how well this like settled into my skin and it looks so nice. Here's the part of this video I didn't quite think through um, because your girl still has to finish up the rest of her face. <laughs> and like that has nothing to do with this sponge. And I don't want to close this video out looking like a naked mole rat. So we might as well just get ready and put on the rest of our makeup. Again, lighter day today. I, guys, I don't know what it is. I guess this is kind of like a get ready with me now. Um, but like plus a fun sponge moment. But I don't know what the deal is. When it is hot outside, I'm just like, I can't. Like, I, I, don't, I don't put on much makeup lately at all. What's so funny about that is that last summer and the summer before, it literally could have been like 112 degrees. And I would have put on like a full beat, full hair. Even though it would have melted 12 seconds after I stepped out outside I still would have tried like I, I would have done it also that was a BH brilliance bronzer and golden gal if you're new here and you've never seen me use it it's like so good um, and now this is the NYX sweet cheeks matte blush in totally chill and oh it's so good it's like a slightly mauvey brownie tone and I oh god it's so beautiful. For finishing powder, I want to use a little bit of this MAC one. This is their light mineralized skin finish powder. And I haven't used this a lot lately and I found it in my drawer. And I was like, I should try using that because I always use a finishing powder just to really buff my makeup into the skin. It makes such a huge difference. This is one of those things, if you've been watching me for a while and you know, like I use glitter glue, for example, anytime I use a shimmery eyeshadow, I don't wet my brush. I always use a glitter glue and it makes a huge difference because I have super inhospitable eyes. And I'm telling you, this is another one of those pageisms that is just, it's perfect. Like, if you are trying to find a way you want your bronzer, your blush to blend together, to blend into your skin, to look like they belong there, it's it's the way to do it. Ugh, now I have to do brows. Brows, because apparently those are still a thing. 
Oh, wow, your girl needs to deal with her brows. Speaking of, oh, sweet baby Jesus, this is not good. Why wasn't I just born with brow hair? Like, how come I'm not one of the blessed and chosen? All right, so we're gonna pretend that that's good enough, and if they look weird, then that's all right. ABH Dip Brow Deep Brown. I'm gonna throw a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape on my lids here real quick, because I want to do a little bit on the eyes, but nothing too crazy. And I think for that, I'm actually gonna go in with this Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Palette here in Dawn. I did do a full review of these. I will link it up here. And these are an interesting little duck, because they deliver sheer to light um, eyeshadow. They are slightly buildable on camera. It always appears to be a little bit more than what it is. And they have a putty consistency, so the way that they apply, you just use them with your finger, and and they're very much so like an on-the-go, easy breezy kind of thing. I really love this color. I've used it a ton. This is the center shade. It's Misty Mornings, and it's really pretty on the eyes. Now I'm going to go into this lighter shade right next to it here, and I'm going to pop that on kind of the inner area and because it's sheer it's not going to give me a ton but it'll lighten it up a little bit and then when I go in with highlight I'll throw a little bit of highlight up here just to brighten everything up and then I'm going to grab the light shade at the end and I'm also going to throw that toward the inner part of the eye dipping my finger into this one right here it's the second deepest shade and we're going to throw that a little bit onto that lower lash line nothing too crazy just like right up by the lashes and now to set the face I'm going to go in first here with my Maybelline Lasting Fix and for highlight, I'm going to add in a little something different. This is from Milk Makeup. This is their Flex Highlight in the shade Lit. It has a little bit more of a pinky hue to it. I'm just going to throw that on with my JH05 here. It is a beaming highlight. It's really, really pretty. I actually have a way that I mix this where it works a little bit better for my skin because naturally it's a little bit too deep, I think. I actually picked this up when I did my review of the Milk Makeup, their stick foundation. If you missed that, I will link it up there. One of the thousand foundations I have reviewed lately. And then I like to go in over top of that with the shade Lace from the Pixie Rach Loves palette. You guys know this is like my favorite highlight palette of all time. Throw a little bit of that just on the toppy top of the cheekbone right there just to give it a little bit more of a pss, like girl that highlight is gonna sear your soul. Now I have been getting a lot of comments from those of you that hate my little chalupa chin and I do have a way that I can fix it. I can kind of show you what that is if I ever do want to tone it down which I don't often tone it down because in real life it doesn't look as crazy as it looks on camera but I get what you guys are saying. So let me grab my brush here. I just go in with my big JH01 and if it has any leftover powder and I kind of work that over like the nose and the chin and what that does is it'll work the highlight into the skin which naturally dulls it down a little bit but then if there's any leftover powder on my brush it also kind of veils the highlight with that and subdues it a little bit and as you can see I mean it did tone it down some but again on camera because I literally have one two three four five I have six giant lights pointed at me plus open lights which is why you're getting like a light coming in from this side as well by the way I had to open it it was so dark in here I'm like I need to get any light that I can um, but that's why you see it reflected so heavily is just because I have six lights pointed at me and I don't have a professional setup. So I'm not a real beauty girl. I mean, like, I'm a beauty guru, but I don't have, like, a beauty guru setup. So you'll see it reflected, and I'm sorry about that, but just know in real life, girl, it don't look like that. Plus, girl, I'm sorry. Like, who doesn't want a good old chalupa chin? Like, who doesn't want, like, a little a little extra grease on that taco? That sounds real bad. Okay, let's just, let's just keep going. <laughs> This video took a drastic turn somewhere at the sponge, and I don't know how to get back. I'm going to go in here with my NYX Bear With Me spray. Mmm, yes, honey. And then my ABH Dewy Set spray. Do you need 12 different sprays? No, but lately your girl does. I just love them. Oh, they feel so nice. <laughs> Look who found her fan on the floor, on the floor. I did, I did. Oh, my God, that feels so good. Hello. I forgot, I forgot a brow bone highlight. Mayday, mayday. I forgot a brow bone highlight. Little eyeballs be sitting here looking all sad, especially because they mama don't love them enough to give them highlight, honey. What are you doing? Lately kind of veiling that inner eye with that highlight as well. Oh, that's so pretty. Curl my lashes, and now it's time for some mascara. I'm taking the ColourPop mascara today. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of my Clinique Lower Lash Line mascara. And all right, you guys, this is the finished look. I went ahead because I had a tractor outside my window. I did my lips real quick. I just went with these two guys right here. The Color pop lip liner is in Brink and then the JSC gloss in Shockwave just to kind of give everything a nice little cohesive moment. Now guys I know this video was super random and I apologize for that. I'm not exactly sure. I know it started off like hey let's talk about a sponge and then as I got going it just was so nice to not be like reviewing an, a makeup item like a palette or a foundation whatever. It was just such a nice break. I don't know if it's just
just me. You guys can let me know down below if this video was completely useless or fun or whatever, but I really enjoyed it and it was super, super nice to just sit and hang out with you guys and like be so chill. So I really appreciate that you guys let me do what I want to do here. Um, as far as this sponge goes though, I'm really impressed. Like, I mean, I guess technically we are reviewing an item and I'm really impressed with the way that it worked. And I, again, to really beat this dead horse right on into its grave, I love the way that it pressed everything into the skin. I actually took an up close so you guys can see it. I'll throw it up right now. And I don't know that the power of camera will actually do this justice to how beautiful and smooth my skin looked. Now, obviously this was first impression, so I will be using this same sponge with other powders and other foundations to make sure that's not just what's going on here. But as far as using it to set, using it for cream bronzers and like stuff like that, and even using it at first, I mean, obviously I wiped it off, but using it just with a powder foundation even, I still think it worked really well. Like every application was beautiful. But overall, you guys, those are my thoughts. I'm super impressed with it. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Was this helpful? Do you like videos like this? Like what are your thoughts and opinions? Be sure to leave them all down below. Uh, check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. If you haven't done that, I mean, why not? Those are both linked in the description as well. And you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel because y'all, I upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between six and 7 a.m. my time here in Northern Michigan. And where else can you go and have a real live track? You're just like hanging out in the background, just like pu -pu 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 around, driving me nuts. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I can never decide, like, how nice should I be? Like, bye. 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 Like, I don't want to be like, bye. But like, I also don't want to be like, bye. Like, what, what version of human do I need to be? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and it's Alexandria. <laughs> Paige. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why was that funny? Stop. Stop. Do my eyebrows look okay? I know that I didn't care 10 minutes ago, but like, should I care? You know what? No, they're fine. They're passable. This is Northern Michigan. You're lucky you have eyebrows. It's fine. Most people have already burned those off with a blowtorch. It's not a big deal. Welcome to the Northern MI. You're my favorite mom. Only mom. Still my favorite, and that's gotta count. I had so much fun playing with a sponge. Oh! I had so much fun playing with a sponge. So much fun playing with a sponge. It's a work in progress. <laughs>